On the last episode of What We Know, we talked about DRM and how much it could really affect the game industry if it actually flourished. Luckily, Ready or Not's not going to have that system, which is great. So let's move on to the next one. So we're going to start off with a comment that was posted in one of my videos and he said that I could use for this video. So here's what it says. I asked the developer some questions and I got a reply on every single one. So first one, when did you start making the game? Reply. Hi random guy. The game started being built in our heads on July 18th, 1984. With the McDonald's massacre? What? What is that? He entered the facility, heavily armed, immediately started shooting everybody. And uh, uh, the customers uh, that were inside the uh, restaurant uh, had absolutely no chance to escape. Oh, These images are more of war than of a small fast food restaurant in San Isidro. Yet it was a local man dressed in battle fatigues who declared, I have killed a thousand, I'm going to kill a thousand more. 41-year-old James Huberty reportedly walked into the restaurant carrying a semi-automatic rifle and two other weapons, enough ammunition to last two hours. Witnesses inside said he fired wildly into the unsuspecting crowd gathered for a quick evening meal. He fired through windows, hitting people in the street. He fired at men, women, children, and babies. One officer said it looked like a mass execution. Oh, my God. Luckily, my cousin survived. But as a kid, I was very proud of the SWAT officer that took out the murderer. Fast forward 34 years. I have invested in the team that got the juice. The game has been in actual development since 2015. Cheers, JR. You know, JR seems like a good guy. Tell him Durag sends his love. Then another one. Can I be in the beta testing? They said the release date and that people who will pre-order will get to play before anyone else. I'm not sure if I should say the release date or not because maybe the person forgot not to say it. Next, how good is Destruction? Reply, we have been working on it and we hope that you will like it. And that's pretty much all that he had to say with the comment there. So thanks for sharing with me, bro. Let's move on to the rest of the video. So once again, we're going back to the wealth of information that is Reddit to look at more questions that the developers answered. So we're going to be starting off with Ready or Not is getting coverage from Siege YouTubers. <laughs> we're all gonna kill you. Oh no, sound the alarms. We're all gonna die. Listen, I already said my piece on this subject, but if you want to hear it again, here's what I got to say. I want everyone to have a chance to play the game and decide for themselves if they liked it or not. Besides, the game itself will weed out the ones that don't grasp the concept of being tactical. So the Reddit post itself just shows the video of a Siege YouTuber. We follow our original design plan to a T. We're not going to just go and modify the game because people asked us to. So the developers are ready or not have a vision and they don't want that vision to be tarnished. And I'm glad that they're sticking to their guns because I really want to see what they have in mind. Because if it's anything like I think it is, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun. P2P or dedicated servers. I've been following the game since the second blog post and sadly waiting for a third one and have been wondering will the game be P2P player to player or will it run dedicated servers? I dearly hope that it has dedicated servers since I've first hand seen a game be destroyed by P2P player to player and I really want this game to succeed, don't we all? And the developer replies with deady old school, meaning dedicated servers. Moving on to the next one. Pre-order editions. I was wondering when we are able to pre-order the game and will there be different editions for the game? Will you guys include a physical reward edition, a collective edition? And the developer replies with, there will be more info on this time. We're not going to overkill with like 80 different versions. It'll be binary, whatever that means. Uh, I got an idea of it, but it's not like the finished thing. Um, I'm not allowed to talk about it though because I wasn't even supposed to get it. Like a subscriber said that to me and uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't say anything. And next we've got shields and snipers. Hello, I am new into the whole ready or not scene. So I'm not sure if this has been brought up or discussed, but I thought I would voice my opinion and request on it. From what I have seen in the game trailer, the shield looks super awesome. From games like Rainbow Six Siege, I main Montaigne and Glass. I thoroughly enjoy both shield and sniping gameplay in high action first person shooters like R6S or Ron, I am lack of a better word, 
requesting that you take some special consideration on making sure that shield and sniper gameplay is apparent and plays correctly. I see all the time games getting both of these combat styles incorrect and I would love to see it done by you guys as I feel as if you can be the first to make it feel seamless and just correct. Thank you can't wait. So Rainbow Six Siege is inherently an arcade shooter so he might find a bit of a difference in ready or not because I believe it takes into account how heavy an actual shield can be and I'm sure that if he gets shot enough it's gonna kick you back because you're taking a lot of bullets so <laughs> here we go again here's another siege person listen um i've played with glass and i've shot people so many times and this is a sniper rifle that we're talking about it should be like an insta death i don't know if you'll really need a sniper because snipers are gonna be kind of pointless in an area where it's gonna be close quarters like it just doesn't make sense to me the developer replied with we posted multiple images of our SWAT with shields and recently posted an image of both the sniper and DMR teams. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well, I guess we're moving on to the next one. Let's go. Will we be able to play through LAN? Like the title, will there be an option to play through LAN instead of having to set up a dedicated server? I'm in college dorms and am not able to set one up due to restrictions on their network. And the devs reply with, of course. Up next, we got a comment that I posted called health recovery system. Not sure if anyone has brought this up, but I was wondering if there was going to be a way to patch yourself up if you get shot a lot. And I noticed that in the motion capture video, you can clearly see what seems to be a medical box or bag. And the developers replied to me saying, there is no health recovery. Oh, moving on to the next one, DLC? I know it won't be a huge priority until later down the line, but I really wouldn't be adverse to some will done DLC. Stuff that won't fracture the player base too much. Maybe a new co-op campaign or some cool guns. Hopefully nothing that creates a paywall or fractures the community like some games do. Cough, Battlefield, cough. <laughs> Battlefield. <laughs> and the developer replies with, Relax, baby. The game ain't even out yet. Our DLC plans won't cause any fracturing of the player base. So no worries there. And I think that's our video for today. I want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch the video. Uh, I have a Discord. It is linked in the description and i guess that i'll catch you in the next one bye bye